aren't many predators as majestic as the tiger, and there may be none as difficult to find in the wild. There are only five kinds of tigers left on the planet, down from eight just a century ago, and tiger populations continue to decline. When tigers and humans meet, the results are often deadly for one or the other. But National Geographic photographer Nick Nichols has a special reverence for the big cats. And Nick hopes that by showing the world the power and majesty of these beasts, he can help build a political will to protect them. We really wanted to just find a way to get into their world. It's such a secret world. Nick has settled on a novel approach. He plans to capture a tiger on film by taking himself out of the picture. He will set up a series of remote video and still cameras in India's Bandagar National Park. His first challenge is finding some tigers. For that, Nick and his assistant, Roy Top, are getting some help from the local elephant population and from their guide, Nanda Rana. And by the end of the first week, there are camera traps all over the park, on tiger trails, near water holes, even in some places you wouldn't expect. So we're gonna set up a, a camera in this cave so when it gets really hot, he may come in here to get out of this heat. But the camera will be here like six weeks and if we get two, two tigers, we'll be happy. One. He's coming down. When an animal crosses the infrared beam, it triggers the cameras. Tigers can come at all hours. So they spend a lot of time making sure the lighting will work 24 hours a day. Trying to find a way to take pictures of tigers on their terms. You know, actually the tigers are taking their own pictures. That's what it gets down to. While he's waiting for the traps to work, Nick builds a blind in the hopes he'll capture a tiger in action. What I want my photographs to do, I really want them to shock people on the page or to glue them to the page or to make them where they just like, wow, look at this, I didn't know this, you know. They might start to understand what it takes for a predator like this to survive but he doesn't get the shots he's dreamed of. He has better luck tracking a mother tiger from the back of an elephant. Over and out, I've got to go. When I see her, it just makes me shake. There's so much adrenaline. I can't keep my camera off of her. She's so beautiful. With Nick nearby, she brings the kill to her growing cubs. It's an exhilarating moment. But what about the hidden cameras? A few weeks after setting them up, Roy goes to check the traps. He's on foot in tiger country. That can be risky. What you do is you hear a, a loud pitch right there. What that is, there's a deer in this area called Cheetle. And when they see a tiger, that's what they scream out, so. So we listen for alarm calls. We know there's a tiger in the area. And it's pretty close. It's real close. Unbeknownst to Roy, but caught on film by the hidden cameras, a tiger approaches a nearby pool for an afternoon dip. Roy finds evidence the tiger is close. It's uh, unbelievable. In just the last half kilometer, we've seen probably 15 to 20 scrape markings of this tiger. The tiger hears the men approach. Check him. See the tiger? And runs off before they arrive. Roy never sees the tiger, but believes one may have been in the pool. 
could have been recently some monkey, but this is a lot of water, so I don't know. I would think he was just in here not too long ago. This is a lot of water out here. Whoa! Bingo! 55 triggers. Tiger? Roll. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> Where's the video? Where's the video, dude? Back at the tent, the photographers savor their success. Come on, please, I baby. Oh, oh. Go in. Oh. oh my God, yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Drink it. Oh, oh man. man. This is too cool. The tigers caught by Nick's traps appear to ignore the camera's flashes and clicking shutters. Nick hopes these unique images, tigers in their natural state, will convey the beauty of these magnificent beasts and help promote his call to protect them. And so you hope that the photographs that you take might have something to do with the continuation of wild tigers. Not the continuation of tigers, but the continuation of wild tigers. These are rare images of an even rarer creature, a tiger in the wild.